All right, time for another really stupid challenge that I probably shouldn't have attempted. Uh, this one is suggested by Sir Whip on his um, SAP channel, and I'll put a link to his video in the description, but essentially he challenged every other SAP content creator to try and beat his best run with this pack, which maybe looks fairly um, innocuous at first glance, but it's actually a complete nightmare. Um, and I think he found it on Reddit uh, that someone had claimed that this was the worst pack ever created. Part of the reason for that is that it's been designed so that all the synergies don't work. There's no scalers. Um, you can see from the food that there's no melon, there's no pepper. And although there are a lot of really great units in the late uh, tiers, the problem is staying alive long enough to actually get to buy them. And even when you buy them, you, you've got no way of really scaling them. So although you might think, oh, yeah, just get white tiger, parrot, tapir, uh, turkey or something, um, you're going to be out of lives by the time you get to buying more than one tier six. So I did have a few runs where I got to tier six, um, but they fizzled out pretty rapidly. So um, let's get on to some of the gameplay footage and I'll show you some of my decent runs and then after that I'll show the my best run so far. Uh, spoilers, it is not going to be 10 wins and I'll be quite surprised if anyone manages to do it. Okay, the first run is triple salamander with the uh, lion um, and we've got a crab going as well um, at the front with chili in the hopes that I can break possibly break two melons. Um, Obviously the problem with Salamander is the health is so low and here the level 2 boar with uh, Lemon is going to survive just and uh, do us in. But uh, really at this point you, you've got very low chance of, uh, of survival and 5 wins, that was my best at that point. Turn 13 and here's one, a different comp with uh, some bluebirds because bluebird is quite a good um, early game pet to try and stack as much attack as possible. And the problem with this is, as you can see in the middle, the panda is only uh, level one and a half. Now, if the panda was level two, I could possibly use it to buff the saber tooth um, and have much better chance of it activating its ability. And actually, I think if I've done the sums right, if the panda was level two, I would win this battle because the bluebird would kill both those units um, quite easily. So unfortunate, but. I did get the multiple snails. A snail is, is one of the best sources of scaling, so you really need incredible luck to get it on the turns that you lost. Um, here's a weird one where I ended up with um, double rhino just because they were the best statted units in the shop at the time. Uh, and I'm on six wins turn 11, but you know, the, this team, the health is too low. It's just, um, it's not got a chance against something like this where there's just one monster unit that has been invested into. Um, maybe if I'd had, uh, I don't know, cheese or something on the uh, salamander and put him right at the front, but I never want to risk that. So the strategy I ended up settling on after quite a lot of attempts is just sacking the first two turns, sometimes even with the third turn as well, just to buy baby ducks. I keep calling them baby ducks, they call them ducklings now, but so we sack turn one and two, we can get four ducks and have one frozen. And this is gonna let us um, pump HP into a salamander. And I get two on the first roll there, which is amazing um, because we'll use one as the main tank and then the second one can be used um, as a glass cannon, essentially. And uh, I get a third one, which this kind of shows you the kind of RNG that you need in order to get um, a high number of wins. And uh, the, But unfortunately, because I haven't bought sold any units yet, this team, which would otherwise have been a great team to go up against, and I get a fourth Salamander. So we're we're going full salamanders video back to back um and it's essentially just 
by selling again as many start of battle units as possible. Um, now, obviously, though this is this can be good in the mid early mid game. The longer you go, the more snipers there are, and um, the more units with melon or pepper there are. You've got very little chance of uh, um, of killing something, even if your attack's really high. So we need to get some HP onto the units. So rabbit is one of the the only scaling options. But with cucumber, that means we're going to get two HP onto that um, salamander this turn, which will mean it can survive a um, a, a bus uh, splash attack. And there I, I forgot to freeze Phil Dragon because it's another start of battle ability. Um, but of course the spider spits out sheep, as they always do. And I think as a result of that, it's a draw. Yeah, I would have won otherwise, but it ended up being a draw. So that could, you know, in theory, that could have been one win more onto this run, but for one in ten spider RNG. Um, I might be doing a video about that soon as well. <laughs> Thought it was all in the past, but it, it's it's always haunted me. Now here is the crucial role where we get triple snail. Um, and get another cucumber onto the, the larger salamander, move them back out of splash damage range. And the level two snail is by far the best uh, option for, for scaling. Um, and of, but of course, the chances of getting it are so slim. And we get a fourth snail, which is even more crazy. Uh, I don't know how many games exactly I played at this point, but it was quite a lot. Um, but having three snails and then getting one in the frozen slot, uh, sorry, three frozen and getting one in the spare slot is kind of wild. Um, so now we're ahead of the curve, probably. I mean, there's still teams that will, will beat us, but getting that so much stats in one in one go. Um, but of course we're on lethal now, so uh, or we've been after that loss we're on lethal, so um, the th there's no more snails in our future. <laughs> so um, just buying and selling stuff, and of course pelican. I always forget pelican counts at start of battle because it it buffs end of turn and start of battle. Um, I probably actually missed quite a few pelicans in other runs because I wasn't thinking about it as, uh, as being eligible to buff the salamander. But we absolutely crush this team. And Frill Dragon is often one of the ones that you don't want to run into um, earlier in the runs because um, you know you just can't um, you can't get over the the large health units. So here I'm, I'm now thinking, although we really need health, it's it's time to to get um, some kind of protection onto these these units. And now here, I actually, this is probably a legitimate synergy that I hadn't even thought about, is having Hyena swap the stats of the Salamanders, because there's no Lollipop. Um, but the problem is, because the health is so low, although we, we can swap all of them, their attack suddenly becomes um, very poor. So it might actually be worth I mean, I can't promise I'm ever going to try this again because it's been quite an ordeal. But um, I think it might be worth trying having hyena and giving all the salamanders um, cheese or um, fortune cookie or something and hoping that you get the RNG there. I don't know, but you can see here I wasn't willing to carry on with it because if you, if you don't do any buy selling, you're getting almost no buffs from the food because you essentially would have to start feeding the salamanders the same food again in order to trigger the rabbit. And it's only a level 1 rabbit. Maybe if it was level 2 it would be worth it. But but here they level 2 skunk us, but they've got uh, a 4 squad and the high attack salamanders just blitz them. Uh, crab is also quite good when you... If you get crab to level 2 and you've got one of these salamanders that you stacked with the um, with the ducklings at the start of the game, uh, it can actually copy quite a large amount of health. Uh, so there are quite a few runs where I had crab. Um, now here I buy Sabretooth. Saber Again, uh, really, yeah. I, okay, I was about to buy Sabretooth and I changed my mind. 
Um, obviously the salamander, the level two salamander is now maxed out, so we're getting less value every time. But the, with the cheese, it kills through cheese on the uh, on the, the super high attack. Um, the thirty nine attack salamander will kill through melon now, I think. Um, yeah, because all you need is seventy attack to kill to kill through. Um, and I'm just uh, keeping saber tooth frozen because. You never know when, you know, you might have, say, uh, lynx and mosquito or something, and then they kill, you know, uh, not mosquito, sorry, um, vulture or something like that, and they get a snipe, and you might spawn a um, a free level 1, 8-8, eight, eight, which isn't much, but you, you're, you're scrapping for every ounce of stats you can get in this. And the lemon is just so good here, dealing with what otherwise would be very troublesome turkey team. It probably if that was a level 2 turkey it might have been a different story and that takes us to 7 which equals what Sir Whip got in his best run. Um, and at this point I actually felt like turn 13 although this team is not very good um, it's very attack heavy you could go against um, similar teams that we'd seen previously where there was maybe two very large units and then three support units in the back um, and the two front salamanders could potentially kill those units and then um, they'll have the rabbit survive as the sole survivor at the end but unfortunately um, that's not going to happen <laughs> um, and we go against the team that as soon as you see the melon and the pepper you know it's over and unfortunately custom packs is just riddled with multi-scaling teams like that and uh, oh well so here's a couple of other amusing little clips and here's another multi salamander run that I was trying. I was trying to, I was going to save the bait in a duckling for next turn. And this is the kind of RNG you need if you're trying to win this challenge. I'm not sure if that was actually a bot. That 5-0, it, usually it used to be that when you saw a number for a, a, a team name that meant it was a bot. Um, and here's another one where I was doing my duckling strategy. Um, and I happened to run into someone else who was also doing the exact same challenge and that is uh, Super Auto Gaming but uh, he was tryharding and he had a full team of pets just uh, sad to see really cool challenge, very very difficult but I'm sure some true gamer out there will be able to get 8 or more wins and uh, maybe it's going to be you